Hello and welcome to Sunset Film Alliance. This is Alex and I'll be talking to you about Sony Picture Profiles this time. So Sony Picture Profiles are the more advanced color profiles that you can choose in Sony cameras. So right now we're starting with Movie Movie, which is standardized to Picture Profile 1. And that allows you to just capture, well, standard looking contrast, standard looking saturation for straight out of camera image for moving pictures. So this one's rather boring. You can use it for almost anything. Not really worth being a picture profile if you want to use something standardized. Rather than using a picture profile, just use the creative styles for this and see my video I did last week on that. So let's move over to the more interesting ones, beginning with picture profile two. So this is Picture Profile 2, and Picture Profile 2 defaults to still gamma and still color space. And still gamma, still color space is just the identical, the standard creative style. So it's not useful either. I would just use, uh, suggest using creative style if you think Picture Profile 1 and 2 look good, so that you can choose more of a creative look rather than focusing on more advanced uh, Picture Profiles. Let's move over to the more professional picture profiles that are used in Sony cameras. This is picture profile three, and this is uh, Rec. 709 Matrix with uh, Pro as the color space. Sony describes this as a more professional uh, color image that's meant to be used straight out of camera with more muted colors. So as you can see, the Dynamic range has improved a little bit, but colors are muted a bit, so you might want to up the saturation post for this profile. Um, this profile is not really meant for grading, other than bumping the saturation a bit, but yeah. Let's look at the one related to it, Picture Profile 4. This is Picture Profile 4, ITU 709, with ITU 709 matrix color. Now, this one, is set to basically the standards of Rec. 709. Personally, I think that it's a bit too high saturation uh, for most things, so I'd recommend turning down the saturation in post a bit if you use this profile. Although, if you want the most accurate colors, pick this one, and you will get the most accurate color possible. Um, so yeah, this is the end of the standardized profiles in um, the picture profile menu. Let's continue to the ones that are meant for color grading. So this is Picture Profile 5, and we're looking at Cine 1 with Cinema Color. Now this is uh, the first of the profiles meant for color grading, and it has a bit more contrast, but um, the highlights do tend to clip, although I can bring them back down from above 100 and color grade with them. So Cine 1, I don't really understand the point of, um, and I would much more recommend the next one on this list in Picture Profile 6. This is Picture Profile 6, um, Cine 2, and this one is a good basic profile for color grading, and so I would recommend this one if you're just starting out. Uh, I find it pretty good for color grading, like now, and I don't have to pull down the highlights from the um, from over 100%. Let's go take a look at the next one. This is Picture Profile 7 S Log 2 S Gamut. So this picture profile is the first log profile in. Uh, Sony camera. I would not recommend using this too much with an 8-bit uh, camera like most of the older Sony's, but with 10-bit cameras it does work fine. It is more of a medium uh, dynamic range profile where you can uh, color grade it and get more uh, highlights and shadows than possible in other profiles. Uh, it is the maximum one that should be used with 8-bit because banding can start to occur on low resolution scenes when graded harshly. Let's take a look at the next one. This is S-Log3 with S-Gamut Cine. I recommend this for the um, 
for the 10-bit Sony cameras because it provides the largest dynamic range possible with great great ability. The only problem is for 8-bit cameras is complete trash. Like right now, my skin's probably a weird color, the sky's probably blocking, and the grass is probably not as green as it should be after grading. And we're gonna take a look at the next one, and the next one I do not recommend using at all unless you need a very wide color space that goes outside human vision. All right, so this is S-Log3 with S-Gamut3, the full S-Gamut. And S-Gamut3 is a giant color space outside of human vision, and the only time you'd wanna use this is with full-fledged Sony cinema cameras. So don't use this don't use uh, Picture Profile 9 on most Sony cameras because it's not worth the struggle, honestly. One extra note in uh, the full S Log 3 with full S Gamut 3 is that uh, everything is probably blocky and crappy right now because of the 8 bit quality. 10 bit, it's actually kind of similar because of the way larger color space. That's why I recommend using S Log 3 with S Gamut. Cine for the 10-bit cameras and not using S-Log3 at all on the 8-bit cameras. Let's move on to the next one. All right, so this is Picture Profile 10 HLG. I changed it a little bit to HLG3 because it gives the most dynamic range. HLG3 is the best uh, color grading profile for the 8-bit Sony cameras. All you have to do is make sure that you change in the video editor of choice convert the Rec 2020 to Rec 709 unless you're doing an HDR workflow. Uh, this one gives the most dynamic range as well as giving normal color without too much banding for the 8-bit cameras. For 10-bit cameras, it's good for if you want HDR straight out of the camera, but it's not recommended if you have uh, S uh, if you want to use, you know, high um, grade curves. For that, use S-Log3 on a 10-bit camera. So we're gonna to go to the last one, which is technically not on this camera I'm shooting on, but it's on newer Sony cameras, S-Cinetone. S-Cinetone, I'm using the S-Cinetone uh, profiles from this creator on YouTube uh, named Extra Shot, and basically it's them backporting S-Cinetone to older Sony cameras via a lot of tweaking in the picture profile. So this is great for a filmic look straight out of camera, and it looks pretty good on 8-bit and 10-bit Sony cameras. So if you want to backport it, I'll leave the link in the description for uh, newer Sony cameras as well as older Sony cameras. Although on the newer Sony cameras, they are getting firmware updates to allow a Cinetone. So the one for older Sony, uh, older Sony cameras works for the a7 III, a7S II, and all those others. While the newer one is mainly for the A7R4 and A7S3, although the A7S3 has a Cinetone built in and picture profile 11. Tell me what you think is your favorite picture profile, and if you think picture profiles are worth it over creative styles, go check out my other video on creative styles, and leave a like, a comment, and subscribe. Thank you, and see you in the next video.